Journals and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda and I haven't done a plan with me video in quite some time, but I'm doing one today for this episode of Make It Happen With Your Planner and it'll be the first one in my series called Summer Planning. All right, well, let's get to it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and draw the lines first. Okay, all my lines are in and as you can see they're not all perfect <laughs> okay but they are what I can work with and I'm gonna label each thing I'll tell you what it means um, I have a minor degree in Spanish from when I was in college and got my um, back when I got my bachelor's and I had it in high school and all of that and so I haven't been using it in a while um, not that long I've used it professionally in, in music and stuff like that but um, but I haven't been using it in quite a while probably at least a year or two and so as part of practicing that I'm just labeling everything on my headers and my gosh I can't get this on here in my planner in Spanish just to kind of get back into it and let's get you on here finally okay all right so this um, well that is just not staying like I want it to so I'm just gonna hold it for right now Okay, so this is our this column is for my object objectives, objectives for the week. So in Spanish, objetivos de la semana. These are going to be my goals for the week. Okay, and this is just going to be some decor, and this is going to be my. Bible study, Biblio, uh, no, Estudio Biblico. So this is my Bible study focus. So Estudio Biblico. I don't think there's an accent on that. Let me make sure. Yep, there's not. Okay. <laughs> Estudio Biblico. Okay, so my objectives for the week, my Bible study focus. This is my meals, my meal plan, comidas. And this is my AM weight, so AM pesos, or peso, and peso, yeah, AM peso, okay? And then this is my gratitude, which is gratitude, gratitude, and 
gratitude, gratitude, no. no E on the end, and then this is just decor, okay, and this is where I have my uh, date, which this is June, and this is for next week, which would start on uh, June the 12th, okay, so this is the way I do it, so I put the day of the week up here first. I leave room here to put my symbol or drawing or sticker for the weather and I'm not going to do that because I'm doing this a week early so I'm not going to actually put anything there today but I am going to make I haven't done this before but I'm just going to kind of mark a, a block for my weather stickers either from my shop or from another shop to go okay and then I'm going to put the day of the week which is lunes or Monday and let me just draw these lines. I'll just draw this across the whole thing. Oh, I want to make sure it's the width that I want it to be across all of them pretty consistently. It just looks better. Not perfect, but better. All right, so that's lunes. Mark days for Tuesday. Miercoles for Wednesday. Okay. Let's just draw that again over here, which I have a little bit less room on this side. Okay. Hope this is in frame. Sorry, guys, if I'm out. those don't want to stay today that is okay I'm not gonna fight with you so I'm gonna draw these to put my weather so don't forget my weather stickers will go there but I think it's too early to put the forecast stickers for next week on here so we've got lunes martes miércoles jueves is for Thursday Viernes is for Friday. Okay, and then I'm going to have the weekend across there, which is what I usually do. So I usually put fin de semana, which means weekend here. And I could do a weekend sticker. Oh, I need to see if I have a weekend sticker in the pack that I'm going to use. I don't think I do. But if I do, I might do that this time instead. I've got... It says Monday to nope, I don't. So I will put weekend here, which is fin de semana, which basically means like the final part of the week or end of the week. Okay, and then this block right here is for Saturday, which is sabado, sabado. And then Sunday is Domingo. And I'm just going to put like a little, oh, what do I want to put to separate? I think I'll put a little asterisk between the two. Separate Saturday and Sunday, because this will be Saturday and this will be Sunday. Okay, and so now, oh, I need to put the days, the actual dates. So, uh, so we're going to start with the 12th. So June is Junio. Junio first everywhere. Oh, and I usually put a comma. Yes. So Junio. 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 Okay. And oh, I didn't leave room to do it here. Hmm. Oh, well, it's okay. I know. <laughs> I might put it down here. We'll see. Right now, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so then that this was the 12th, right? I've already forgotten, you guys. That's crazy. So, June the 12th, Junio. Okay. Doce, trece, catorce. Quince. Dieciséis. And then this is the old show, but I can't do it right now. Okay, so this is the complete formatted layout with no decor at all. 
And now I'm just going to use, I'm going to start off, you know, I'm going to start off doing a little bit of coloring. So I'm going to, I love to use highlighters and things like that. And this um, theme is going to be kind of more pinks. I'm trying to find right now my highlighter pink or my pink highlighter, mild liner highlighter, the fluorescent one. Okay, pretty. So I'm gonna start off just kind of doing a little bit of background color stuff, and then I'm gonna use the sticker pack from my dear friend, Brandy, and she has a website called Good Stuff Mama, um, goodstuffmama.com, and then her Etsy is Good Stuff Mama Paper Co. Uh, but if you check her out, she sells these miscut packs for $3 on goodstuffmama.com and I can't find a single miscut. So I don't know why they're here, but I appreciate it <laughs> for $3 and free shipping and we're going to decorate with that. Right now I'm just going to highlight um, to add some color in here to kind of go with the theme. So we're just going to highlight these. Now on this column is where I will put all of my tasks basically for the week and if you want to see me actually plan what goes on the pages um, the tasks and what I write specifically what I'm going to do that day because today's video is going to be all about setting it up and decorating it but if you want to see a video of me actually figuring out what to plan to do that week that video will be in the comments below, so be sure and check that out. I'm just gonna kinda go left to right on what I'm gonna do to put color on here. So I think I want more of a hot pink right above that, a little bit surrounding the objectives, objectivos right here. So just put a little, just kinda, just a little bit of color right there. Yeah, just a touch, I like that. And so up here, I'm going to use crossed here. I'm going to do some washi tape. So I want it to be about the same width. And look what I got, you guys. I have some beautiful, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of what this is called. Why is my brain shutting down? Um, flamingo. <laughs> Flamingos right here. So and I'm going to use like an old hotel card to cut off the edges as I use it. So someone um, on Facebook and a planner group that I'm in, it's OK Mel Melanated Planners, yeah, I believe. She was talking about how when you do the other side of putting your washi, like I'm gonna, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go. I actually am a dexterous, so I use both hands, but I am a dexterous. But, um, but certain things like writing, I do all with my right hand. But it feels, it really does feel kind of weird when you do this side if you have wording on your washi tape because then you like maybe have to turn your page over to go left to right. All right. So that was just a little tangent I went on, but <laughs> it was fun anyway, right? Okay, is this sticking where I want it to? I think so. So I think this is pretty 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 all right now we're just gonna cut it off well not perfectly but i actually like it when it's not completely perfect as long as it lays down and sticks and this piece doesn't seem to want to come on let's get you together oh it's not in frame sorry Little corner. Uh, why is it? Oh, there we go. It's stuck on. It's stuck on top of itself. <laughs> okay. Now I am actually. I'm going to use a different one to go across that. I kind of like to mix it up a little bit. So I have another. No. Yeah, I did. I brought another. I have another flamingo. It's a little bit lighter. I got from a planner group. I got that other one from a planner group too. Um, that group was Southwest OK Planner Society, which is a really great group. All right, so we're going to get this one on here. And yeah. I like that. Okay, come on. 
Let's see if I can tear you. Oh, that was better. Okay. How do you think? Is that pretty? Two different flamingos. One is hot pink and one is kind of a peachy color. Okay. Now I'm going to put some down here at the bottom. And I know my this row is jank. <laughs> Look how my line went, but that's okay. I still got an extra... Did I get an extra row added here? I don't think I really did. I kind of cut it off, but that's okay. Hmm, did I get, I don't think I did get the extra row that I wanted on here. I want to add another row. Well, no, I don't, because I do too much. So we're not going to add another row. We're not going to do that. We're going to put these pretty flowers on here um, as soon as I get it undone. And I really think I can. Come on. All right. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put this, this little piece right here, which is some pretty flowers. There we go. All right. And then I have one more. I'm going to put right here. So I just like for it to be different. There we go. And now, okay, before I put her stuff on there, I want to make sure. Now I'm going to have, if you can see here for this week, um, I've got to color some things in. So I put the weather, the high there, and highs and lows, and then the water. So I'm going to do that here too, leave a space for the highs and lows that will go with that weather. And then my water is after that. So I want to use, um, I think I'm going to use a lighter kind of peach pink, but hot. Yeah. I'm going to use this. Oops, I hit the table. Sorry. So this is where my... Highs and lows, now I don't have them right now, but my highs and lows for the weather will go right in here. And then we'll do my water after that. Oh, and I have to put personal and business, so I will make sure to do that in a moment. Oh, I wanna go ahead and mark this everywhere. So this is where my highs and lows go. This is where the highs and lows go. What is the weather like for you guys where you live? It's just getting really hot here. I mean, in Oklahoma, it gets, it can, it can get really cold in the winter. Um, but we don't usually have very much snow. We have it every now and then, and it, but we have ice storms, which are awful and very dangerous. So um, school kind of gets canceled a lot because of ice storms and the ice may be associated with um now i usually put the both days right here on this side so i actually will need to put another weather thing no i'm gonna put one weather thing one weather thing here okay so um but the highs and lows so i'll have two sets of highs and lows one for saturday and one for sunday then I'll put the weather icon here for Saturday and the one for Sunday down here. Okay. Now, um, and then we do have all seasons though. We do have distinctive fall and spring, winter and summer. Although we just kind of went straight from summer to winter this year. Like we had a really long summer um, this past year rather. And in spring too. And then when summer gets here, when it starts really getting warm, man, it just stays hot. <laughs> and then, and it's humid. It's not as humid as places like Houston, which is awful, or Georgia, but it gets humid and it's really hot. And we do have people like in Texas who unfortunately pass away over the summer because it's just too hot. Um, but I love it, it's home. Although I am totally open to moving somewhere where I don't have allergy issues because I'm allergic to all the grass, weeds, 
grass weed and tree pollen in Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas, and it's just hard, <laughs> really hard to deal with, let me tell you. Okay, so the, that, and then we'll do the water is after that, and we will put the water stickers down before I put down the stickers from, um, from my friend Brandy. So, I don't know exactly what this color is, more of a peachy, but it works, it blends, I think. It blends pretty well. So then this is where I'm gonna put H2O for water. Since that's a different entry, I'll put a different shade of, let me see if I have another pink shade in here. Pink-ish. Okay, I think I used that one. This, was this one? I don't think I used this one. Actually, that might be exactly what I used. Of the stuff that needs to go over here and leave that because that's a, a big spot for decorating with stickers and so I just need to label this for the days of the week so we got Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday same thing here want to have two things that I'm grateful for for each day so I just give myself a number so I'll remember and then we're done with that and now we can just put down all the stickers that I got from Brandy or some of them you know and I am going to get this to hold still for me what I say. <laughs> Let's put this one up here on this corner because I don't really need it to put anything there. Come on. You can do it. There.
these water stickers are from my Lucinda Dory Planners Etsy shop. And I want to remind all of my subscribers uh, that you get an additional discount for being a subscriber for my shop. And the discount is always in the comments below. And there's a new one every month. And I hope you guys will check it out. Um, come on. Get you to stick. There we go. Or stick straight. It sticks just fine. I just... <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to film and make sure that you're, um, you know, in frame and then still be able to see everything that you're doing. But we got it there. So here are these. And like I said, I have weather stickers. For my shop as well but I since today is Wednesday the 7th yes of June and this is going to be my setup for next week like I said I think it's just too early to um, put in the forecast because it will probably change between now and then so I usually put it down on Sunday for the week or sometimes Monday morning for the current week and then I'm, you know, it still changes, but it doesn't usually change very much, which is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna get Fridays there, and then Saturday and Sunday. Come on, your nails don't want to pick you up. I'm gonna put right here. So as you see, I don't have personal and business or personal and occupation on Saturday and Sunday because I'm really not supposed to be doing much work, none on Sundays. And Saturdays, I just focus on Etsy as far as work goes. Oh, and she had an Etsy sticker, so I need to add that. Okay, you guys, well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to reach 1,200 subscribers this year, and I believe I was at 844 last night. So anything you can do to help would be awesome. Tell your friends and family. And until next time, everybody. Oh, I also wanted to tell you, if you want to, be sure to always know when I have a new video up, which I usually post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, then just hit the bell icon and you'll get a notification. And until next time, happy planning!